Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I am your instructor for this MS 700 Teams Administrator Associate Examination course. In this lesson, we are going to learn about how to manage file sharing for Microsoft Teams. Sharing files is a basic operation in Office 365 and Microsoft Teams when collaborating with internal and external participants. The different operations in Teams result in different file handling operations to provide file access to one or many chat participants or all members of a single channel, including external guest access. There are different behavior related to sharing files depending on the sharing operation. The first one is, what about the user shares a file in a one-on-one -on -one group chat. In this behavior, the file is uploaded to users OneDrive into the folder Microsoft Teams chat files, and all participants are granted permission on the single file. Second operation is user shares a file in a conversation. In this operation, the expected behavior is the file is uploaded to the Teams documents library, where the team SharePoint permission groups grant access to all members and external participants. And the third operation is users copy the link to a file from Teams. In this operation, the expected behavior is the user can decide to copy a Teams or SharePoint link. While the Teams link opens Teams to access the file, the SharePoint links opens directly in the browser. The recipient of the link must either have a SharePoint permission or he or she must be a member of Teams to access the file content. So let me go and show you where is this settings in your SharePoint Admin Center or OneDrive Admin Center. I'm on my Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Under Admin Center, you can either go to SharePoint Admin Center or OneDrive Admin Center as well. So I'm going to go to SharePoint. Under SharePoint, you can go to Settings. Under SharePoint, you can go to Policies and click on Sharing. This is where you can find the sharing and external sharing options for both SharePoint and OneDrive. You would be able to modify it to give access to anyone or only the new users, only new and existing guests or existing guests or only people in your organization. You can independently change the settings as well. So let me explain these policies one by one. Under anyone, users can create link that can be freely shared. They can also select to require sign-in when they share items. Under new and existing guests, users can send an invitation to anyone unless you choose to restrict domains. Invitation to access files can be redeemed only once. The next option is existing guests. Users can send sharing invitation to any external users who has been added to your Azure Active Directory. Invitation to access files can be redeemed only once. And finally, only people in your organization. In this case, external sharing is not allowed. Now that we have learned about Microsoft Teams sharing options, in the next lesson, let's go and explore how to manage channel moderation. So we'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.